Okay, thank you to Rashida Shefford for sharing this with me. I just found the link on the email. It's called Federally Recognized Native American Tribe by Dorothy Leppard. Stephen, um, part of the Native American history for Dummies Cheat Sheet. All right, the petitioner has been, in order for the United States government to recognize a Native American tribe, the tribe or group of Native Americans must meet the following seven requirements. The petitioner has been identified as an American Indian entity since 1900. Um, oh, you guys can also go on the DAWs roll, she was saying, on Ancestry.com to find out some information. A predominant um, portion of the petitioning group comprises a distinct community. The petitioner has maintained political influence or authority over its members. Um, the group has governing documents which include its membership criteria. The petitioner's membership consists of individuals who descend from a historical Indian tribe or from historical Indian tribes which combined and function as a single autonomous political entity. Number six, the membership of the petitioning group is composed primarily of persons who are not members of an acknowledged North American Indian tribe. Wait, let me just read that again. The membership of the petitioning group is comprised primarily of persons who are not members, oh, who are not members of a, of a an acknowledged North American Indian tribe. Oh, I think she they mean like the, the current Cherokee Seminelli tribes. Like I remember writing to them and I was ticked out <laughs> their response as well too. You know, I do these videos and I keep, I can go back now in memory to see who I wrote to. Neither the, number seven, neither the petitioner nor its members are the subject of congressional legislation that has expressly terminated or forbidden the federal relationship. I think as more as we can do this. Um, yeah. And then I always look at the pictures that they have at the bottom of these because the pictures tell us whether what we can do or not. Um, this brilliant device lets you communicate in more than 40 languages. Wow. New Wi Fi booster, expensive internet. These wireless earphones. And why doctors may no longer prescribe blood pressure medication. If you're over 50 and own a computer, here's a game for you. And the strange link between eggs and diabetes. I don't know about that. Okay. So anyways, um, yeah, eggs that have um, a lot of uh, crap in it. I was watching this um, Garden of Eden and he was explaining that his eggs, um, his chickens eat all the organic um, fruits and vegetables and how his their eggs are actually good for them. I'm like, whoa. So that means all the foods that we used to eat from our ancestral heritage was good for us. Anyways, you guys go and do the research on this. Thank you for um, sharing this with, with me, Rashida. To all the judges um, um, out there, the Morsh American Consulate, uh, Rashida's asking if you can become a federally recognized tribe um, as well as more. So it's easier for those of us and the people out there who are trying to get their Moorish American consulate, their Moorish American nationality corrected. They can get it corrected properly with their Indian status as well and um, go back to the proper jurisdiction and get their lands and different things remedied that way because it looks like that was a component that may have been missing. Now, I was watching... Um, Taj Tariq Bey today, who was explaining about the Manchurians. He was talking about how the Manchurians were instrumental in helping a lot of us in regards to the so-called United States Corporation run by the Vatican Pope and how back in, I think it was 2012, uh, the Manchurians had all these, um, I think it was, they were mercenaries um, in play that were taking out a lot of these corrupt entities, eh? So as a result of them putting the pressure on the Vatican um, Jesuits, um, hence why the United States Corporation was bankrupted back in 2012. And I guess again in 2017, I think it was September 30th, they were bankrupted again. 
And then all of a sudden I started seeing recently the U.S. and the USA crop up. So I'm not certain if that's another shell corporation that might have might have to be dissolved as well. Anyways, you guys can go and do the research there and find out what that's about. But yeah, he was saying the Manchurians, which we now know um, we call the Chinese. They were the ones helping to because they recognized that the so-called white supremacy um, crap that was on the table. They were going down the list, not only attacking the so-called blacks, um, which we now know are Moors and Indians, um, their heritage and their lineage and their whole um, airship um, on the land, but they're also then setting for the Indians and then the Asians known as Chinese, right? So they had to put a stop to that. So that's why so many nations globally are no longer um, a party to that. And Taj was explaining that the powers that be, whether they like it or not, um, have for some quite some time now have been um, responding and um, helping to uplift fallen humanity globally. So you guys might not be able to see that currently, but we're seeing a lot of shifts a lot of changes go on, and um, yeah, because he was saying that the way the universe is set up, he, they were, he was talking about the religious um, branch and how religion originally was about law and um, the organization of, um, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a lawful organization. It wasn't just this, you know, out there dogma type stuff that they've been teaching, right? So um, I'll put the link in to that um, video in the description below. So I've put all the links to all the videos I was talking about in the last video um, that I wrote to the judges in. Um, you guys can go back and watch those videos and look at the Ancestry.com and email them for your lineage. And thank you again to Copper Aborigines Queen um, Cafe Bay 7, um, a whole host of you out there who are just peppering some of the um, agents that are on. And he was also, somebody was also talking about um, the Boule um, sellout agents doing business as black leader guys. They were talking about how they're tearing down. Do you remember the secret treaty of Rona and the Spanish Inquisition and the black Christian codes um, doctrine? They were talking how they were going to take out those black leader guides. If ever the people woke up, they were no longer had the use, any use for them anymore. So they're taking them out one by one. That's why I couldn't comment on the Louis Farrakhan um, situation because I wasn't certain if that was what was going on. So when this guy was reporting some stuff this morning, that just kind of connected. You guys see where I'm going? Because remember, all this time we were being misled, you see? And if Louis Farrakhan was out there talking about Muslim, M-U-S-L-I-M, and not talking about us as M-O-S-L-E-M, Muslim, Indian tribes, even though he did mention his wife was an Indian, but you know, they never go into detail enough for us to really get it. You see where I'm going? So that was the, the problem, eh? And I don't have anything against, you know, whatever. I, I don't know them enough to be saying nothing about anybody. I'm just saying that go and do the research because I think what's happening is the secret treaty of Verona is the oath that a lot of these ministers and deacons and bishops and heads took to keep us in this dogma religion. See where I'm going? Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day. Those of you who'd like to join us in our online school class now, you can simply click on the donate button and send the 20 notes for the month. We'll send you the assignments. And those of you who wish to just donate to us, if you like our work here, you like our channel, you want to help us continue our research, because it does take finances to uplift a nation. Um, we'll continue posting our stuff as we get it, as much as we possibly can, but we really do appreciate your donations as well, too. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day. Don't take my word for it. Go and do the research. Don't even bother commenting, you guys, in the comment section, unless you're commenting with law. Okay, because you guys know the elders can only say so much, even those bishops, some of them are trying their best. They can only do so much because they took an oath. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to be mindful of that. So we're not here to tear up anybody. We're just putting out some information, going to the research. Like, share, subscribe. Have yourself a great day.